I need the ice and the cream. Kicking shit, need the car, Billy Jean. Saying gang come with a glass of beans. I be high and I'm fine on the scene. Money bulging and buzz out of jeans. Man, I need me a fat ass to squeeze. Hold a piggy, I'm sipping my lean. And baby, it is what it seems. It is currently like 70 degrees still, so it feels great outside. Um, we're gonna be trying to take off this bumper real quick while we have some daylight ahead of us. It is beautiful outside. And um, huge shout out to American Modified for sponsoring today's video. We got the nice mesh grill, racing style grill for the 10th Gen Civic. And that is gonna take away all this right here. It's gonna be a straight flat piece with uh, mesh, obviously. So that way, all this is gonna be gone. And it's gonna be prone to a lot more air coming in the car, and it's just gonna look nice. Especially if we get an intercooler in the near future, it's gonna look real nice, and it's just gonna make it a lot more aggressive, in my opinion, which I like. And I'm gonna be getting the uh, 2020 Canards over here, so it comes over right here, and they're paint matched to the car. And then I still need a front lip and lower the car, and then she'll be looking good on some stock wheels with the uh, Carus design. Uh, Aero flap V 2.5. I'm definitely gonna be getting that too, and then she will be looking pretty, pretty decent. So, anyways, let's get an unboxing of this real quick, and we'll take off the bumper. Let's see, what we got all right. So we have the new side pieces or the top pieces right here, and gloss black. Oh, nice. So, I guess on their new models, they uh, already come pre-meshed out. I know a lot of people used to have to um, install the mesh themselves. So, that's pretty cool that we don't have to do all that. Nice mesh grill. Looks sweet. All right, first steps first, we're going to come inside and pop the trunk. <laughs> Just kidding, pop the hood. Oh, daddy. What a great looking car. All right, now we got the car on jack stands and a jack on the right side supporting it, just in case anything ever happens. But first and foremost is we're gonna take out all these tabs right here. You can't see right now, I'm about to move you, but the front splash guard right here. And then you're gonna go on the headlights and then on the uh, opposite side as well. And then get a little uh, trim remover tool or a small flathead screwdriver. Um, I have both, but I don't have my little pick, so I'm gonna have to use a small flathead screwdriver, which is perfectly fine. And uh, yeah, so I'll go ahead and do this real quick, and I'll get back with you as soon as I do this. All right, once you got the strip, the weather strip off and then the splash guard off, um, like I said, it just comes off on all these little tabs. You're gonna make your way to the side of the vehicle, take off your side markers with these little two screws right here, and then a little flathead screwdriver, pop side marker out just like we did on the previous video. All right, just like that. All right, next there's gonna be two channels right here under these little flaps right here. And you're just gonna disconnect them just like that. Just like that. All right, so on each side of the bumper, there's gonna be a 10 millimeter bolt um, right here. You'll see it right under the fog light to the left or right, uh, depending on what side you're on. And there's gonna be an Allen key uh, bolt directly to the left or right of that, depending on whatever side you're on. And there's gonna be a bunch of those push tabs under there. I would say about eight to 10. And then, uh, yeah, once you do all that, you should just be able to um, pop your bumper off. Oh, excuse me. We have to go over here and pop it off on the fenders. Um, so after you're done with that, all you have to do is just pop it off the fenders and then pull your bumper off, unplug the fog lights, and you're good. Just be careful for everything not to fall down on you. Okay. 
Now, once you get your bumper off, all you're gonna do is just unscrew all six bolt or eight bolts, excuse me. In the middle, we're gonna have to get our angle grinder and uh, cut this down right here flush to the top. It still has support on the sides, so you don't have to really worry about that. But um, just so you don't see that behind the mesh part, you're gonna have to come in here and cut that nice and flush. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do that real quick, then we'll go ahead and mock it up, and then we'll be almost done. RIP neighbors in the neighborhood. So, all right, so now we got this all trimmed down. Um, basically, just gonna grab your gear roll and install it, reverse process of what you just did. All right, once you have your grill on, you're gonna get these little side canards or side pieces and then just clip them in to the top. <clears throat> just like that. Just like that. All right, we have it all zip tied to the back. Nice and flush now. Uh, one broke off. The mounts uh, could be made a little better. Um, but other than that, fitment looks great. Besides that one, you know, having the zip tie, but uh, looks awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and pop it back on the car right now. Reverse order, and I'll just show you what it looks like afterwards. Whew, I do tell you she's looking good. But uh, let's get these last little pieces in. Snip these uh, headlight ones in. All right, now we just gotta put the other weather strip one on and this splash guard. Yeah, so huge shout out to American Modify for sending me out that grill. Uh, really appreciate it, guys. Like I said, the install is really, really simple, as you did see. Probably took about an hour uh, tops. The biggest trick is just getting all those buttons off on the bottom of the bumper and then snatching your bumper off, really. And like I said, don't really. Uh, have to remove the marker lights like I did. You can just pull the bumper out around them. And uh, yeah, so here's the fitment. Like I said, pretty good. Um, I do complain. My only complaint is about right here on these little push tabs. I had to get my own uh, zip ties and zip tie it to make sure it's secured because uh, it didn't really click in like the OEM grill did. But other than that, no complaints. It really looks good. Has a lot more airflow now and uh, looks pretty sporty. So. If you have a little front lip diffuser and all that, it would look really, really aggressive then. But uh, not bad for the price. Uh, make sure to check them out. I have them linked down in the description. And I'll catch you next video. I need the ice and cream. Kicking shit, need the car bill of jeans. Saying gang come with a glass of beans. I be high and I'm fine on the scene. Money bulging and buzz out of jeans. Man, I need me a fast squeeze. Hold a piggy, I'm sipping my lane.